I might be the first in Singapore to unbox this. Welcome to Jay-Z Reef, where reefing's made easy. As some of you might know from my last video, I'm supposed to update everyone on how I tune in my calcium reactor effluent rate. Unfortunately, there's a lot of issue happening and I'm trying to dial it in. I'll be updating everyone as soon as I get it resolved. In the meantime, this came in the mail. Unfortunately, we have been very slow to be receiving any new products from anywhere being in Singapore. So after reaching out to the local distributor, which told me that it has not arrived in Singapore yet, I have no choice but to reach out to the e-commerce website and score myself one of these. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through the unboxing, the setup, and my afterthoughts about the all-new Kamoa X1 Pro T2. Let's go over to the unboxing. Let's have a look what's on the box. Firstly, it says that it's controllable via Apple or Android and controllable via the mobile app. And it's a dosing pump as well as a continuous dosing pump for our calcium reactor. Aside from that, some images. Nothing really standing out. Over here at the side, it actually shows illustrations of how the trace element is being used and how we can utilize it for the calcium reactor. At the back, it actually lists out some of the features that this dosing pump has. Let's go through some of the key points that I feel is interesting. Firstly, uh, as a hygiene factor wise, what I'll expect of most pumps nowadays will be to have full calibration, keeping the memory in case a power outage is experienced and it remembers our past settings and resume their dosing schedule when the power is backed up. One interesting feature that I do not come across in some of the dosing pump I have, it has the ability now to count the pump tube service time and actually send us a notification when it's time to swap out new tubes. Inside of the box, we have a user menu, two sizes of dosing tubes, connectors, another bag of connectors, the DC power adapter, followed by the Kamoa X1 Pro T2 dosing pump. At the first glance, it is actually quite sturdy and also about say 20% smaller compared to the FX STP dosing pump that I came across but unfortunately do not have a sample here to do the comparison with you. One key point to take note, it actually uses a 24 volt power adapter so do not try to use any other dosing pumps who's running on 12 volt and try to connect this up. Aside from that, one of the key features I really like about it is the ability to adjust manually using the knob and having a display which is why I'm getting this instead of the previous Kamoa versions. As we can also see, it's quite beefy enough weighing at slightly above 500 grams at 536. And along with the power adapter, we are looking at close to 800 grams. Since I don't have any other dosing pump to do a fair comparison, I thought the closest one I have is this refractory pump that I've been using to dose my alkalinity just to do a weight comparison. Now with the power adapter. We can see that the Kamoa X1 Pro T2 is almost triple the weight of my refractory dosing pump. 
Now that we have powered it up, you can actually see that there's an L that's moving across the screen that actually signifies the lock mode to prevent any accidental kind of tweaking. Or to access the menu, just hit on the knob. So off the bat, without any configuration, I can actually start running it and tuning it using the knob. So this is great for anyone who does not want to connect another device to their home network since our home is already congested with tons of wireless network devices. So as you can see, a slight adjustment actually increase or decrease it by 0.1 ml. If you turn the knob fast enough, the increment will be by 1 ml or 10 ml depending on how aggressive you will actually turn the knob. Next, to assess the main menu itself, we have to switch off the running by pressing the knob and just turn the knob either way to access the menu. So you can see in the menu itself is pretty straightforward. You have the language, the calibration, the Wi-Fi connectivity if you wish to, and also settings. So in terms of language in my set, I only have Mandarin or English. For calibration, you can actually calibrate prior to setting up your dosing. Next for Wi-Fi, the funny thing over here you notice is that it keep toggling between the static and access point set. In order to switch the mode, just scroll down, click, and you can toggle between access point mode which is connecting to your Wi-Fi. Since we are pairing with the mobile phone app, let's set it to access point mode and exit from here. Now let's head over to the setup of the dosing pump and see how it goes. So what are some of my afterthoughts after going through the unboxing and setup of the Kamoa X1 Pro T2? Well first, let's go through on some of the cons. As you can see, there isn't any room or any way that I can mount anything to a cabinet. So in this case, it would be nice if they have some kind of fitting for us to screw on hang it there's always work around like what i've been doing with my refactory dosing pump by doing a 3d print stand but honestly how hard is it to include fittings the next con similar to all the other kamoa pumps that i always encounter is the software yes the pump might be good but the software is buggy even after so many years 
as you can see I'm still having issue on trying to connect it to the wireless access point at home and allowing the software to detect it one more aspect that I feel that they can improve the fittings that they give can't they just use a stem adapter like what Ecotech Versa is doing that would definitely be much appreciated by many of us out there after all who would say no to John Gas fittings aside from the three points that I've just mentioned I don't really find any much cons for this awesome product what I found great about it though will be one the inclusion of a knob so I can manually control it anytime I want another pro I feel with the screen going on it is definitely good for me to see what is going on without accessing the app like some of the other dozing palms out there aside from that the sound levels are awesome here's a comparison of the sound or noise level that is emitted by the dosing pump as you can see I'm comparing the Reef Factory dosing pump versus the Kamoa X1 Pro T2 although it's not a fair comparison but I believe the Reef Factory dosing pump sort of produces the normal dosing pump noise level so currently we can see the ambient noise fluctuates around 50 plus and the refactory sort of hover around the 60-ish noise level in terms of decibel makes let's have a look at the Kamoa at 40 ml the noise level is sort of slightly lower than the refactory dosing pump let's find out how noisy it is at its maximum at 140 as we can see here the decibel count is maybe about 5 or 6 decibel higher than the dosing pump by refactory moving on to the app itself aside from the initial pairing stage if you want to call it pairing there isn't really much to complain about the user interface itself is quite fluid except for the, the portion where you have to really pinpoint your finger down when you are adjusting at the lower range aside from that it's pretty smooth and all the menus are quite user intuitive so you don't have to rely on the useless user menu which don't really provide much information one more strong point that pulls me to this pump among all of the pros that I've named is the price based on my latest finding for Ecotech Versa Bot Reef Supply is selling them at US dollars 199 guess how much I got this for yes it might come with some hiccups where they ship me with the wrong power adapter there's a missing grease that's supposed to come with it but hey if i can save 70 bucks versus the versa no pun intended i'll be able to get my grease and my power adapter and still save some money now that i got this pump in my hand i have to decide if i want to use it for my calcium reactor effluent dosing or I can use it for Catwiser dosing to raise my pH. All said and done, let me get back to my calcium reactor tuning. And once I'm all in, I'll update you in my next video. Go through it like X1 Pro T2. Couldn't they come up with a better name for it?